Hi everyone, this is Rachel and I just wanted to wish everybody a happy International Scrapbooking Day for 2015. If you're here as one of my regular subscribers, thank you for being a regular subscriber. If you're here as part of the YouTube video hop we're doing uh, that was organized by Hannah Lemieux, welcome and I hope you enjoy the following video. So Hannah's idea was that we choose something from My Favorite Things, the song from Sound of Music and also use some of our favorite things. So I decided to break out my absolute favorite line from last year, which was Maggie Holmes' open book. Before that it was notes and things, but then this came out and I loved it even more than, oh wait, there's one more thing, here we go, uh, even more than notes and things. So I'm going to use this, and I haven't touched it yet, I've been just ogling it in the corner of my scrap area. And then the line I'm choosing, and I put it right here, is uh, wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. So I chose this photo of my niece when she was very, very little, and all these geese, and actually her nickname was Goose, because we used to call her Silly Goose. So, um, she was uh, always called Goose. So, I'm going to go ahead and use that photo. So, I'm going to switch over to voiceover now. But everybody have a great scrapbooking, national, international scrapbooking day, whatever it's called. All right, and I'll be right back in just a second. Bye! Okay, so now we're on fast forward and I'm going through the papers I have for the open book collection and I've decided on this pink ombre, but I'm going to use it upside down and that one is called Full Heart and then I'm going to start cutting out pieces of this uh, cut apart sheet which is called Moments Collected and I really wish I had purchased two of these because I ended up cutting into things I would have wanted to use, but I'm not going to freak out about it or anything like that. I will go with the flow, as they say. So I'm trying to cut these out, and some of them I use my scissors, and then I hate myself because I cut horribly with scissors. I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed or just because I'm scissor deficient. I just... I cut it out, and then I'm like, oh, it's not straight, so I ended up trimming it up with my trimmer. But anyways, sorry for the therapy session. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, this one's full heart, like I said, but I did not realize that was not in focus when I did it. So I'm just getting some of the pieces out. I decide, I really, I had thought I wanted to use that big yellow one that said, I love everything about you, or I love everything about this. And at that point, I realized if there's something I specifically want to use, maybe not in this layout, but just in general, I should go ahead and cut that out now before I accidentally cut it out on the other side and then lose it. So that's why I go ahead and do all of these. I don't use all of those cut aparts, but I do use quite a few of them. I think actually almost all of them in general I use. So I decide to grab the moments collected and take off the branding strip and as I said before, I'm going to use it upside down so that way the darker color is at the bottom. And I decide pretty much right away I'm going to use that yellow piece of paper, and that's called Chapters. And I'm going to use a, a big block of that under my photos. Now, I'm going to talk about my photos for a minute. As I mentioned, I could not remember the words, so I had to sing it. I'm like, oh my gosh, can't believe I'm doing this. But it's uh, wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. And no, the geese are not flying in this one, but they are in the picture. So I thought that was apropos. So this picture is actually taken, I was not here. My best friend took the photo of her daughter. And she and my niece, who I, her daughter is whom I refer to as my niece. And these photos are old. Uh, I think she is about three here. So these pictures are 11 years old. They had been cooped up in their house for two or three days, my best friend said, because it had been just pouring, pouring rain. And for those of you who have three-year-olds and <laughs> have had been cooped up for several days, 
uh, in a house, you realize how much you need to get out. So they walked down to a park that was right near their house and, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, when they were there, all the geese were out too. And she said it was just really great to be able to get outside and go for a walk. And my niece was having a great time. So back to the layout, sorry, back to the layout. I'm cutting out a bit of this because I want to be able to use the polka dot paper for something else. And I actually ended up cutting it over too far, which is fine. In the scheme of things, it's not a big deal. I just had my photos a little more to the left than I'd meant to do. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I have allergies going on like nobody's business today. Um, so I put tape on this black and white polka dot, and then I realized I wanted to cut out to put it somewhere else, so then I took the tape off and cut it out and put the tape back on, and now I'm going to go ahead and tape down my big block of yellow paper, and I'm going to start to put together these little pieces of the cut aparts and just kind of get them in place, and I'm doing a diagonal layout. This is one of my favorite layouts. I just doing a diagonal style design is one of my favorite things uh, along with using cut aparts. I really like using cut aparts. I use them both in diagonal layouts and I also use them a lot in grid designs which is another favorite of mine. So I grabbed this floral piece sticker from the open book sticker collection and then I grabbed this mint tag and I'm going to cut that in half and put the top half of the top and the bottom half of the bottom and that has some very nice little gold detail to it which is not, not quite nice and I have these two cut aparts the journaling tag and then the row of hearts and I'm trying so desperately to use that row of hearts and I just I do end up using it but it takes me a while to find the right spot I pull out the frames also from the open book collection I have no need for these frames but they were just so glittery and shiny and awesome that I had to get them I have plenty of frames. So I decide pretty much that I'm going to use this gold one. I have a little trouble cutting it apart. But I just put the bottom part down at the bottom and then I tuck the top part in right over that mint frame at the top. And I end up grabbing a pop dot for it. Because it's so close to the end of the yellow paper, the paper just kind of ends up hanging there. So I just pop dot it down. And it took me a while. Oh, you know, my ATG pulled, there was some loose paper on the back of that. So when I rolled my ATG over it, it just lifted the extra paper off. So it took me a little while to get that down. I'm like, what was taking me so long? I just got some new dimensionals from Stampin' Up. I love theirs, but I haven't had them in so long. But I finally put in a Stampin' Up order for their celebration. And uh, so I got some of those as well. I'm going to use these gold word thickers from the open, I think this is, I don't know if they necessarily were like labeled as from the open book collection, but I know they came out with it. And so I'm doing a title, Love This Goose Girl. As I mentioned in my introduction, uh, my, na my niece's nickname when she was younger was Goose because we told her she was a silly goose and she loved that. She's like, I a silly goose. So... I used the little mini stickers from the open book sticker collection to spell out Goose Girl. They're very pretty. I like the darkness. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the rest of that paper that hangs off. And like once again, I cut it completely wonky, but I'm not going to freak out about it. And I'm going to go ahead and put down that journaling lock. And my journaling is going to be go there. It's not a huge amount of journaling. It's basically just talking about how they headed down to the park after three days of rain. And everyone was super happy to be able to go outside. So I use that tag. These tags are very pretty. They all have some sort of either watercoloring or stitching. Or some of them have the... Oh, sugar, the stuff you use to hang a streamer paper on it. So this, the rose is actually on top of it. It's not one layer, it's a several layers. And then I'm going to pull out another favorite thing, and that is my wood veneer. I use wood veneer on almost every single layout. I love wood veneer. I just absolutely love it. These happen to be from the Teresa Collins Nine & Company line, and they're actually quite large 
like for what I like, but they worked out pretty well. And you can also see I went and added some mist to the upper left hand and lower right hand corners. And that's a favorite technique of mine. I love misting. I took a break from scrapbooking and when I came back misting, uh, sprinkling was sprinkling your mist was all the rage and I was never happier than that. I go back to the sticker pack and I grab that last heart and then the last thing I'm going to add is one of my other favorite things and those are enamel dots. I love enamel dots. I think they just add such a great little pop of color with a little bit of dimension but not so much that you're getting into the lumpy bumpy stage which I'm not a huge fan of. You know, I think the people who do it are amazing. It's just not me. <laughs> I'm going to finish off with my journaling, and that's going to be the end of it. So thank you so much for joining me. Please go take a look at the other videos on the blog hop, blog hop, on the video hop. Um, I'm going to put a listing either in the description or in, my, in the first comment. Thank you guys so much. Flick me a thumbs up if you can. Happy National Scrapbooking Day. I have trouble with the word national. Bye.